Dear students, look at the three important amino acids, glycine, arginine, methionine. Glycine is a non-polar, aliphatic and the simplest of all amino acids. When it comes to arginine, it's a polar and a basic amino acid. Methionine is a sulfur containing amino acids. And these three come together in the formation of creatine. Yes, glycine is nothing but aminated version of acetic acid. Arginine is an amino acid containing a special group called as guanidino group. When they both come together, they will form guanidino acetic acid. Now, when these two are going away, we are left with guanidino acetic acid. Now, we take methionine. The active form of methionine is s arinosyl methionine, who is a very important methyl donor. So, s arinosyl methionine will offer the methyl group to the guanino acetic acid and that becomes s arinosyl homocysteine. When the guanino acetic acid is getting methylated, it becomes creatine. That creatine is the component of muscles. And when the creatine goes for spontaneous hydrolysis and catabolism, it is called as creatinine, which you use for measuring the renal function. So, remember, glycine, Next is arginine. The third one is methionine in the order of formation of creatine. I remember it with a mnemonic called as GAME. G-A-M-E. I hope this helps. All the very best.